Okay, for example number one, we want to determine whether the integral that goes from a lower limit of 1 to an upper limit of infinity of 1 over x dx is convergent or divergent. Now, according to part A of definition 1, which I noted over here, we can then say that the integral that goes from 1 to infinity of 1 over x dx is now equal to the limit as t approaches infinity from 1 to t 1 over x dx. And now if we take the antiderivative of that integral, we end up getting the limit as t approaches infinity of the natural log of the absolute value of x that goes from a lower limit of 1 to an upper limit of 2, which then becomes the following. So we have the limit as t approaches infinity of the natural log of t minus the natural log of 1. And if we apply our logarithmic properties, this becomes a division, which becomes t over 1, which just becomes a natural log of t. So we have the limit as t approaches infinity of the natural log of t, which equals infinity. Now, the limit does not exist as a finite number, and so the improper integral is considered divergent. Now, let's compare the result of example 1 with the example given at the beginning of this section. We determined that this integral converges, 1 over x squared, whereas this integral, 1 over x, diverges. So geometrically, this says that although the curves y equals, x, oh, y equals 1 over x squared and y equals 1 over x look very similar, for when x is greater than 0, the region under y equals 1 over x squared to the right of x equals 1, which is the shaded region in figure 4, okay, has a finite area, whereas the corresponding region under y is equal to 1 over x, which is in figure 5, has an infinite area. Note that both 1 over x squared and 1 over x approach 0 as x is approaching infinity. But 1 over x squared approaches 0 faster than 1 over x. So the values of 1 over x don't decrease fast enough for its integral to have a finite value. 